Hello, Isaac. I've got a few more questions for you. I'm all ears, my child. Do you know who Jimmy Cochran is? I don't recognize that name, no. Do you know anything about an art theft at the Wade Estate in the 80s? I have just a vague memory of reading about it in the paper. I could, but I think I have more to gain from a subtle strategy. I'll keep it to myself for now, until I know more about this church. That's all I need for now, Father. May the Lord shine his light on you. Oh, hello, dear. Mind if we talk for a bit, Grandma? Not at all, dear. What's on your mind? Do you know who Jimmy Cochran is? He was a friend of Grandpa's. I believe he teaches at the flight school these days. I don't think so, at least not anymore. I was told he was placed in a mental facility. Really? He always struck me as a kind man. Maybe a bit nervous and on edge, but not crazy. There's more. I found out that Jimmy asked Grandpa for help not long before Grandpa ended up in that wheelchair. Jimmy sounded really desperate. I'm sure what happened to Grandpa that night had something to do with his cry for help. You should go find the man, then. Surely he must know something. That's the plan. I just wondered if there's anything else you think I should know about him. Not really. We haven't stayed in touch since Joseph was injured. I know that he had a wife, Agatha, and a son, James. Agatha passed away from cancer years ago, but as far as I know, James still lives in the city with his family. Okay, thanks, Grandma. I don't see a reason to ask her about that. I don't see a reason to ask her about that. Bye, Grandma. I'll be back later. So long. Hey, Lenny. Hello, Kathy. What's up? I don't need to ask him that now. Do you know who Jimmy Cochran is? Not really, Kathy. Sorry. Nah, I don't want to ask him about that. Nah, I don't want to ask him about that. Do you know anything about a weird bald guy dressed in red around here? You're joking, right? Oh, never mind. Well, gotta go. See ya. Hello, Sheriff. Mind if I ask you a few more questions? If you must. I don't need to ask him that now. Do you know who Jimmy Cochran is? Do you know anything about the art theft in the Wade estate? Um, yes. Mr. Wade phoned ahead about that. Lenny! Yes, boss? Get the report from the burglary in the Wade estate back in 86? On it, boss. There you go, Kathy. Thanks, buddy. I gotta find this gold farb guy. Maybe he knows more about the burglary. Hey, Lenny. Hello, Kathy. What's up? Does the name Franklin Goldfarb mean anything to you? Sounds familiar, but I can't place him. Well, gotta go. See ya. Tons of miscellaneous files. I don't see anything labeled as police reports, so those must be elsewhere. Hello, Sheriff. Mind if I ask you a few more questions? If you must. 
I don't need to ask him that. Do you know anything about a weird bald guy dressed in red around here? What the hell are you talking about? Never mind. Does the name Franklin Goldfarb mean anything to you? Never heard of him. Anything else? That's all for now. Good. Oh, it's you again. Come on in. I had a, a few more questions, Sue. Shoot. Did you know that somebody stole Lily's paintings from Wade? Huh. I knew he got robbed a few years back, but I thought he still had them all. Does the name Franklin Goldfarb mean anything to you? You mean Goober? Nobody calls him Franklin anymore. Oh, that's Goober's real name? Gotcha. I don't need to ask her about that. Did you know that somebody stole Lily's paintings from Wade? Huh? No, I knew he got robbed if... I think I'm gonna head off now. Sure thing, little cat. Come back anytime. I need a word, Miss Mendez. Wait, how do you know my name? It's written on that board behind you, genius. You have the eyesight of a bald eagle or something? Eh, what can I say? I'm a freak of nature. What happened to Goober, anyway? Who? The guy who had the... seizure? Oh, he ran off somewhere. Kept babbling about a religious near-death experience. Okay, thanks. Goober, the friendly bum in denial. Hello again, Goober. I'll try to tone down the charm, but I can't promise anything. Huh, yeah, you're quite the charmer. I know. I just said that, man. Listen, I feel kind of bad about the electrocution. Oh, that's what it was. What a cherry on top of my stellar performance. Yeah, it was... Uh, pretty convincing. So what brings you to the house of God? Come to repent? I'm afraid that ship has long since sailed, buddy. I had a few things I wanted to ask you about, though. Shoot, Missy! I don't need to ask him about that. Your real name is Franklin Goldfarb, right? Oh, nobody calls me that. Regardless, I know for a fact that you were a witness to a burglary a few years back, at the Wade Estate? Yeah, what about it? Why don't you tell me what you saw exactly? I heard the alarm go off, glass break, and then I saw three guys running away, carrying a bunch of stuff. What did they look like? It was dark, I don't know, they were definitely three big, bulky guys. They, uh... They what? Oh, nothing, that's it. Didn't see anything else. Bullshit, spit it out. Well, one of those guys dropped his ring when running away. I sort of pawned it. A ring? What kind of ring? Platinum with an inscription. Two letters. B... something. Man, I don't remember. My photographic memory stopped working in 1979. Which pawn shop was that? Pete's Pawning and Plumbing. It closed down a long time ago, though. Owner left town. There's a coffee shop back there now. Too bad. Guess that's a dead end. Thanks anyway. Didn't I see two letters fitting that description recently? Not on a building. It was something small. Did the inscription on the ring look anything like this? Wow, actually exactly like that. Any idea what BH stands for? Beehive? Bed high? Big head? <sighs> Know anything about the art theft at the Wade Mansion? Uh, nope. Nothing at all. I tend to stay away from, you know, 
Crime. I already asked him about that. I should look into the ring with a B followed by another letter. Didn't I see two letters fitting that description not long ago? Not on a building. It was something small. I already showed him that. Okay, that's all for now. See ya! Hello, Isaac. I've got a few more questions for you. I'm all ears, my child. Do you know what BH means? It's inscribed on this lighter. I'm sorry, but no. That's all I need for now, Father. May the Lord shine his light on you. Oh, hello, dear. Mind if we talk for a bit, Grandma? Not at all, dear. What's on your mind? Do you recognize the acronym BH? It's on Dad's lighter. Yes, dear. It means the black hats. They're those ruffians on motorcycles whom your father is associated with. Oh, his biker gang. That makes sense. What can you tell me about the black hats? I refuse to talk about those hoodlums. They turned your father into a horrible person. You should stay far away from them, Kathy. They're awful people, just awful. Bye, Grandma. I'll be back later. So long. Hey, Lenny. Hello, Kathy. What's up? What can you tell me about the Black Hats? They've caused us trouble from time to time, but they've been kind of quiet lately. We put a few of their captains in the slammer over the years, but we never managed to find enough dirt on their leader. Bo Brunson. Big Bo. Do you know where I can find them? Yeah, hold on. Let me just find a map. Got it. Thanks. Well, gotta go. See ya. Hi, Goober. Mind if we talk? Shoot! I don't need to ask him about that. Okay, that's all for now. See ya! Hello, Isaac. I've got a few more questions for you. I'm all ears, my child. What do you know about the Black Hats? Only that they aren't the men as everyone makes them out to be. Some of them have come to me in confidence, wanting to change. Some did in the end, some didn't. I believe that the greatest gift of all is being able to reveal the inner goodness we are all capable of. Your father was one of those men wanting to change. As I am bound by the seal of confession, I cannot divulge much, even to you. But I will say this. He was terribly torn and felt like the whole world was conspiring against him. I'm sure he had great reasons for abandoning a six-year-old. You're making excuses for a monster. I am unable to say more, but I hope you will find it in your heart to forgive him one day. I have a good memory. Don't get your hopes up. I'll pray for you. Hate devours and controls us all. Only by turning away from it can we ever be free. That's all I need for now, Father. May the Lord shine his light on you. Back again, I see. I sure am. I had some more questions, Charles. I'm listening. What can you tell me about the Black Hats? Not much. They used to stir up all sorts of trouble, but Truman kept them in check. What about now? Are they still active? I believe they are, given the incompetence of Sheriff Boyx. I'm sure they're having a field day out there. Do you know where I can find them? Not exactly. They have a clubhouse somewhere outside of town, but that's all I know. Thanks, Charles. That's all I need for now. You're welcome, Kathy. Come back anytime.
Sweet butt incoming. Like hell I am. I'm nobody's property. You sure? Doesn't she look like a sweet butt? Little slut. I think she does. Step off, creep. Or what? You tell your daddy on me? You think I need my daddy to kick your pathetic ass? Oh, I love it when they play hard to get. Let go of me! What the hell's going on out here? Nothing, Prez. Just having a bit of fun with this gash here. I suggest you leash that dog of yours. For fuck's sake, Prospect. Not again. Get the hell out of here. Sorry, boss. I'll go. Fuck. That hurt you, cunt. He'll be disciplined for that. He better be. I take it your beau? I am. And who are you, darling? Kathy Rain. Bullshit. She lives in the city with her deranged mother. Who are you, really? Did the Vandals send you? No, they didn't. I am Kathy Rain. Prove it, then. Well, I would, but I left my ID back home. <laughs> That's convenient. I think I've wasted enough time with you. I need to figure out some proof. this proof enough for you? I'll be damned. That's Brian's lighter, all right. Sorry about the paranoia. We've had some problems with the vandals lately. I get it. Can't be too careful. So, that's your ride out there. Corley Motors, right? 78? 76. You got the same taste as your old man. He always rolled Corley's. Probably the only thing he and I have in common. <laughs> you set up those mods yourself? Looks custom made for your, uh, small frame. Yeah, took some time to get the measurements right. I imagine so. Girls like you don't often ride heavy bikes. I'm not most girls. Ain't that the truth. Most girls don't just waltz into places like this, either. I guess you'd know. Anyway, I had some questions for you in the club. Go ahead, then. Your old man was a good brother, so I'll indulge you for now. I don't need to show him that. Hey, Bo, any idea of what this key opens? You ask weird questions, you know that? Do you know what this is? Whoa. What? Do you recognize that? I saw one of those with my own eyes a few years ago. Really? Where? Middle of the woods, the road of the city. Those things came from nowhere and gave me this crazy headache right on the plate in my head. At the time, I thought it was just a nasty case of migraine. You have a plate in your head? Yeah, titanium, from a shrapnel wound I got in there. I see. Titanium isn't the least bit magnetic, is it? How the hell should I know? I'm no scientist. Do you remember where exactly on the road it happened? No. Like I said, I dismissed it as a migraine. Didn't pay too much attention as to where I was. Fair enough. Do you know anything about this flower bow? Do I look like a florist to you? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Crack me up, girl. I don't need to show him that. Do you know anything about what happened to Joseph Rain in 1981? No, we had our differences, me and him, but that's a horrible fate for a man. I'd rather be dead than a vegetable. So I take it you and him didn't get along? No, I could write a book about that man. On one page, I'd praise him. On the next, I'd want to smash his skull in. He could be a real self-righteous prick when he wanted to, that's for sure. But everyone knew he was the real law around here. Truman was a tool. I respected Joseph, and he respected me. But he hated how Brian looked up to me. Joseph always blamed the club for the path Brian chose in life. Even though it was just due to him being a shitty father. You seriously thought Grandpa was a bad parent? Everybody knew about it. People just tend to forget the bad qualities of men in wheelchairs. 
Joseph wasn't a saint. He saw everything black and white. He was only kind to whomever he considered to be good by his narrow moral standards. The ones who wouldn't fit in that small mold didn't get any chances. None whatsoever. Do you know anything about Lily Myers? Nothing that anyone else around here couldn't tell you. Do you know who Jimmy Cochran is? No. Tell me, how long have you been the president of this club? Fifteen years now, give or take. We'll be peaking for ten before that. Good. Then you can tell me why you stole Lily Myers' paintings from Charles Wade in 86. I don't know what the hell you're talking about, but I'd recommend you be careful with wild accusations like that. Fine. Is there anything I can do for the club to earn your trust? You mean like cleaning the toilets? Making coffee? I think we got that covered, Cupcake. <laughs> Spare me your sexist bullshit. I can take care of business. <laughs> you are nothing like your old man, you know that? I take that as a compliment. You do that. In any case, I've had enough of this nonsense. Stop pushing your luck. What can you tell me about the Church of the Holy Trinity? Do I look like a pious man to you? I've peed on churches. This may be a weird question, but have you ever met a bald man dressed in red? I've made a few bald men red. That count? What can you tell me about the Black Hats? Black Hats MC was founded in the 60s by my old man, my uncle, and two other local bikers. Commonwealth Springs is a mother chapter, and we have support clubs in six other locations across three states. There's a total of 16 members here. 12 patch, 4 prospects. I'm the acting president of this chapter as well as of the whole club. I've been for more than 15 years. The law give you any trouble? It used to be tough when your granddad was around. He and Truman ran a tight ship. And now? Now they try, but Boyks and the boy are a nuisance at best. No use. He's not gonna budge on this one. I need to figure out some way to make him more cooperative. I don't need to show him that. All right, I'm gonna hit the road. Right on. I have some business to take care of, but make yourself at home. Thanks, Bo. See you around. Hey, Brian's girl. Yeah? I overheard you. I'm Emmett. Hey. The boss man isn't usually that grumpy. He's got a lot on his mind. But I think I may know of a way to loosen him up. I'm all ears, buddy. Well, Bo and Brian are the double B's, as we used to call them. <laughs> they used to have this drink together. Brian came up with it. He called it a bloodier Mary. Hmm, sounds like my kind of drink. Yeah, it's basically a bloody Mary, but with pig blood instead of tomato juice. I take that back. Gross. <laughs> I'm kidding. It's just a Bloody Mary, but with a special ingredient added to it. If you say that special ingredient is blood, I will literally punch you. <laughs> no. Brian refused to tell anyone what it was. He only made it for special occasions. It's probably something uncommon, like a rare herb or some kind of expensive spice. So, let me guess. If I can produce this drink for Bo, you think he would help me out? It'll make him remember Brian, which should go a long way. He hasn't had that drink since your old man disappeared. Brian was like a son to him. The boss would have died for him back in the day. If you could recall the good times with your father, he might change his mind. I guess it could be worth a try. But wait, why are you helping me? You're Brian's kid. That means you're family. We take care of family. Well, how was that drink compared with a regular Bloody Mary? Tasted a bit more like pepper, and had a punch to it. It usually gave some pretty nasty hangovers. Oh, if you had a lot of them, you'd hallucinate some crazy shit. Pretty wild. Trippy. Thanks. You're welcome, darling. He's the bartender here. Doesn't appear to be a club member. Impressive bar. 
These guys like to drink. Impressive bar. These guys like to drink. I used to be a bit of a pool shark. Been a while, though. Not sure where that leads, but I don't think I have a reason to go in there. Various pictures and mugshots of the club members. Some of them look pretty old. This club must have been around for a while. A member of this motorcycle club. One hundred percent country music. Be still, my heart. Phew, out of order. My ears are safe. I'd rather just talk to their leader. Emmett. He has a patch on his jacket that says Vice President. Hey, bartender. Do you happen to know how to make a bloodier Mary? You mean a bloody Mary? No, this is something different. Afraid not. I can make your regular bloody Mary, though, if you want. Maybe later. I need to figure something out. All right, then. Hey, Emmett. Yeah? Uh, remind me again. What's the difference between a bloodier Mary and a regular Bloody Mary? Tasted a bit like pepper and had a lot more punch. Gave some pretty nasty hangovers. And if you drank a bunch of them, you'd hallucinate some crazy shit. All right, thanks. Anytime. It's a photocopy of a book page with information about the red scythe flower. Here's an interesting segment. Another interesting trait of the red scythe is the smell, which is familiar to that of a pepper. The pollen of the plant has also been known to cause hallucinations in concentrated amounts. Native American tribes harvested and smoked the plant for that reason, but the flower never caught on as a modern recreational drug due to the difficulty of growing it. Sorry, endangered flower, but I, uh, I really need to make a drink. Bo Brunson, the acting president of the Black Hats. It's a specimen of that red scythe flower. It smells a bit like pepper. I should give it to the bartender instead. I'd like a Bloody Mary. Come right up. Oh, and add this, will you? Just something I like for flavor. Put it in a blender. Whatever you say. One Blood of Mary. Enjoy. Thanks, buddy. The club will cover that, Jose? Sure thing, VP. Thanks again, Emmett. You got it. Hey, Bo. I've got something for you. I recognize that smell. You found your dad's recipe. Something like that. Man, is this a trip down memory lane? I keep expecting Brian to walk in here any second. You know, all this nostalgia is making me remember how much I really owe your old man. Yeah? Yeah. So, here's the deal. In 86, Carl, my VP at the time, came to me and said he had a job lined up for the club. Some guy had offered him good dough for stealing a bunch of paintings from a mansion. He needed two brothers for the job. 
I was busy with other things at the time, so I gave my permission as long as the club got the usual cut. He returned a week later with a nice wad of cash. I didn't realize it was Wade he had knocked off until I read the paper. If I had known that, I'd advised against him. Wade is a powerful man with friends in city council. There's no reason to piss him off. Got it. So what do you know about the guy who hired you for the job? Not much. Carl said it was some bearded preacher. Whoa, Isaac from the Church of the Holy Trinity? Could be. I don't know who that is. It was a priest. I know that much. Thanks, Bo. I'm gonna follow up on this right away. That's it? You're not gonna ask me about what happened to your old man? Not even curious? I couldn't give two shits about that asshole. Bullshit. Don't expect anyone to believe you're that angry with someone you don't give two shits about. Either he's dead or he abandoned me. Do any of those options look appealing to you? They don't, but you should know that no one from the club had anything to do with it. I meant it when I said Brian was a good brother. He had no enemies here. Not then, and not now. Comforting to hear, Mr. President. Shut up and listen, girl. I'm trying to tell you something. Brian used to talk about heading to Mexico, about riding off into the sunset and getting away from all his newfound responsibilities. And I think part of him was serious. You deserve to know that there's a chance he's still out there somewhere. Sure. Let's hope that bastard is living it up somewhere. <sighs> Just take care of yourself, you hear? You too. That day went by fast. I think I'm gonna ask if I can stay the night at Grandma's.